That is such a hard thing, because we would all like to be optimistic. I mean, maybe not everybody in the world. I think there are some people who would not like our future to be good. But um, I, I just don't know. And there are several reasons why I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull together to deal with things that we're going to have to deal with. And I really think that one of the first things we're going to have to deal with in the next decade is uh, migration inland from people whose, whose towns and cities are inundated. And I think it's going to happen in Norfolk. And, we're going to, and it may happen all at once with a hurricane, or it may happen slower. But we're going to deal with mass migration and disruption of the economy, uh, poverty induced by people's property values dropping and so on. Are we going to be able to pull together and be communities and care about each other or not? And we've lost over, I, I think over the course of my lifetime, I think we've lost a lot of, of the ideals uh, that Americans used to have about doing that kind of thing. I know we were never, there were all kinds of ways in which we were terrible at it before, but uh, I think there was more of an impulse that way when I was younger. So I worry about our future because I worry about what, econ what environmental devastation is going to do to us. I worry about our future because I think the economy is not stable and we didn't do what we needed to do after the recession to stabilize it. So I think we're at risk for other collapses. I think that's true globally, probably. I, I of course, I worry day to day if we're going to go to war with North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all worry about that. I'm hoping that I don't have any way of preventing that. So there's not, any, not anything I can do about that. I just have to try to not worry about it and hope things are under more control than sometimes they seem to be. Uh, if we were not facing the possibility of an economic disruption, if we were not facing all of the things that go with climate change, I would still feel fairly optimistic. Uh, it's not the immediate political situation that scares me as much as those things. I do think that given the current administration's insistence on dismantling some of our environmental regulations and underfunding the agencies that take care of our interior and our parks and so on and so forth, I think that, that it's making it worse. But, you know, this too shall pass. There'll be another election. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're falling apart politically as much as I think some pundits are telling us. And we're, st you know, we say in the university, presidents come and go, deans come and go, the faculty stays, the students come and go. It's us, we're the ones who stay. And I think that's uh, true about us citizens too.